Hello and welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell, live at the Prosper Center of the 2013 Bauer Showcase, where BC Central will be producing two shows per day. This one, of course, one later on, two Saturday, and two on Sunday. We'll also be doing various interviews throughout the entire tournament, so make sure you visit our YouTube page, youtube.com slash VSBNCA. On today's show, I'll be interviewing BCHL Commissioner John Grisdale. We've got our Road to BCHL Superstar Gavin Gould feature, and I speak to Brian Pierce. That and so much more, you're watching BCHL Central. I'm joined with John Grisdale, the Commissioner of the British Columbia Hockey League. The Bauer Showcase, the second annual, what does this mean to the league? Well, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very important. Uh, the purpose of the showcase was, uh, is to showcase our players, uh, no pun intended, and, and provide them with the ability to play in front of a lot of scouts. And then the second big uh, issue, uh, item is that the scouts get to come and see all of our players in one location over three days. and two games for each team so it's a benefit both ways uh, and uh, and an early look for everybody at the league. I mean we're two games in right now we've seen scouts from the Anaheim Ducks, the Edmonton Oilers. Why are such big name scouts coming to these games? Well you know we had seven players drafted last year to the from directly from the BC Hockey League and uh, you know well over 200 in, in the time the league's been operating so there's always a diamond in the rough uh, that you know they like to look at get a get a an early view of who they want to follow uh, during the year and again that's the benefit of having this so early. Uh, now will the Bauer Showcase be the home of Chilliwack or could it be moving? Well no certainly Chilliwack in these two years has done a phenomenal job. It's a perfect location, a marvelous city, we've got a great host uh, in, uh, in the Chilliwack Chiefs and, and the, but not only that the host committee, the city takes a very very active part in in uh, you know helping us uh, securing rooms and all that sort of stuff so uh, you never know but uh, you know I think some of them, uh, communities would love to have it but right now we're we're happy to be in Chilliwack. And John the the BCHL playoff format has changed again how's it changed? Well you know it, it changes uh, almost yearly in our league and one of the issues has always been uh, the travel and across the water because ferry a two-way ferry for a bus is just under twelve hundred dollars and um, so it, it's, it's expensive. So teams want to, it costs so much to travel, they, they try to uh, uh, move it around. But pretty much uh, the same in the sense that 12 teams out of the 16 will make the playoffs. Uh, then you get down, uh, the first two rounds will be within the team's own division. We have three divisions. And then we end up with three winners, three divisional winners. So how do you pick a, you know, a fourth? And, uh, and so we're going to have a round robin, uh, two home, home, two, uh, each team will play four games, and the top two teams will move on to the Fred Page Cup Final. Wow, okay. Uh, and the BCHL has 16 teams currently across British Columbia. Is there room for expansion in the BCHL? Well, we were going to expand last year into Wenatchee, Washington, and uh, got right down to the last uh, strokes, uh, and it didn't happen. But uh, there's nothing in the books now. Uh, our expansion deadline yearly is the 15th, or the 1st of December, uh, uh, and uh, that hasn't approached yet. But you know, we pretty much exhausted uh, a lot of the communities in, in, uh, in BC, and we'll just have to see where it all ends up. Great, thank you, John. Thank you very much. We're going to pass things now down to Nick Basler, who's talking to the Road BCHL superstar, Gavin Gould. Nick? Thanks, Sally. I'm here with Gavin Gould of the Merritt Centennials. Gavin, you played in your first BCHL game today. How does it feel? Uh, well, it's a lot quicker than usual, like uh, minor hockey, but, you know, like we, we came out strong and we played real good and it was easy to play for uh, my line mates were really helping me out there too. So is it safe to say your journey to the BCHL is over? I mean, you're featured in that story on BCHL Central during the BCHL. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's over right now. You look pretty good in the lineup today. Well, it's never really over. Like you got to keep going. You know, like you never have, uh, you never have to stop like just showing yourself and uh, it's always this journey. Like tomorrow I could get cut and stuff like it you just got to work hard every day what do you find is your role in the locker room and on the ice uh, in the locker room probably like uh, just kind of admire and like just feel like with these guys like these are a great group of guys and like really learn from the veterans because they know all the 
all their stuff and on the ice I'd say just probably bring offensive and uh, like win draws and everything. Thank you so much Gavin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nick. Like we said, the Road to BCHL, probably the fastest in TV history uh, start to end segment, probably in a good way though. We're now joined with Brian Pierce, who kind of helps Gavin along the way. What is your job? So I'm an athlete advisor and I, I have a recruiting service for college bound student athletes. Um, so I'm helping Gavin prepare to uh, reach uh, the division one level and obtain an athletic scholarship. Um, I've helped his older brother, Malcolm, who plays for Michigan Tech currently and was a Chilliwack chief and a, and a Quinnell millionaire. And um, I recruited his brother, who's had a great success in the BCHL prior to obtaining his scholarship. I recruited him out of Junior B Hockey and for the Squamish Wolf, Wolf Pack. And I'm uh, just making sure that he's, you know, academically eligible, that college coaches know who he is, where, where he is, and what he could do and bring to the program. And uh, I think Gavin's on the right track now, you know, newly acquired by the Merit Centennials and just got his first BCHL game under his belt and looked pretty good out there. So we're going to touch on that side of things of what you exactly do in terms of the educational aspect of it all. But I mean, Gavin, you know, he's a pretty small guy. Uh, he played BC Major Midget League uh, last year with the uh, Northwest Giants. Did you expect him to make the BCHL? You know, being a five foot seven, um, you know, maybe 145 pounds, I think, uh, no one, it's difficult for guys to be like, give him a shot right away. He definitely has to work for every opportunity that he gets and his preparation is, uh, it's elite level preparation or he wouldn't be in this league. You know, he just thinks about hockey and how, how he's gonna make that next jump and I think his focus is what really has helped him get here, you know, in that preparation. So what are some expectations that maybe Gavin has or even maybe yourself has for him this season? Well, I think Gavin, um, he's plays one game at a time and he wants to contribute. Like when there's a puck battle or a play to be made, um, he tries to be as responsible as he possibly can. And I think his goal is just to keep it simple, be defensively responsible and chip in, in any, way, any, any way he can. You know, he was given some good ice time today in the win. And I thought for a young player in the league, a rookie, uh, he really wanted the puck and he looked good out there. Again, so if I was a parent and uh, my son's just joining hockey, uh, uh, why should I contact someone like yourself? Well, you'd contact me to pursue the college hockey route. Um, and I would make sure that they are prepared so that coaches can recruit them and that these young men and coaches know that these young men have a good head on their shoulders and that they want to have success in the game and they take it serious and they also want to uh, play hockey as long as they possibly can along with getting an education at the same time. That's why. You know, that's why my players have a lot of success because they're prepared and, and they want to play college hockey. And lastly, Brian, how can someone get contact with you if they want to? Uh, you can give me a, you can re reach me at um, bjprisingathletes.com or um, yeah, just look up BJP Rising Athletes and all the information's there and I'd be happy to uh, give you any advice possible. Great, sure. thanks Brian. Yeah, thanks Telly. All right, now I think pass things down to Nick Brazerin who has interviewed with Brad Buclair who scored the first goal of the BCHL season. Nick? I'm here with captain of the Penticton V's, Brad McClure. Brad, you scored the first goal of the 2013-2014 season. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Get the first one on your belt and get the team up early. And speaking of first one on your belt, you're also 1-0. You guys had a hard-fought victory over the Victoria Grizzlies, 2-1. How does it feel to be able to put that one in the books and start things off on a on a, the winning side of things? Yeah, you know, they're a great team, and I think we just stuck to our, our systems and... Uh, battled through till the end and came out on top. Now what did you do during the offseason to prepare for this season? I mean you guys came out flying in this first game. Yeah I know all the guys have been training and coach, uh, assistant coach has been training us too. We all came a bit early and we're training with him and I think that's uh, shown in this first game. And now you guys have a big turnover over from last season. You guys lost a lot of players who aged out, went on to college commitments and whatnot. What do you think of some of the rookies? How are they adjusting to this tempo and the speed of the junior A game? Yeah, we got a good rookie class this year. You know, there's a lot of smart hockey players, and they're able to uh, adapt to all of our systems and plays that we do pretty easily. So it, it makes for uh, pretty good hockey. And can you talk a bit about your goaltending? Two brand new goaltenders. You guys actually face your former backup goaltender, Nick Renyard, who now plays for the Victoria Grizzlies. Your starter today, Oliver Mantha, he got his first win in the season. What do you think of the goaltending tandem for this season? Yeah, you know, Ren, Renier's a great kid and he's a good goalie too. And 
I think we're happy to have the goalies we have this year, and I think it looks like uh, we're going to have a good year, and they're going to be able to stop some pucks for us. Thank you so much, Brad. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching BCHL Central here live at the Prosper Center of the 2013 Bauer Showcase. We'll be here a little bit later on in the evening tonight to do one more show. But for this show, my name is Tally Campbell. I'm your host for Nick Bazarin, Roman reporter, Bill Stewart, our producer, and Chris Ramon's Micklin, our editor and camera operator. Have yourself a fantastic night. See you later.